We've had a very big earthquake in Hawaii, 5.3 magnitude today. And where did the quake strike and are there tsunami warnings? Well, I'll make another video on this because there's going to be a lot of details on this because it's an earthquake swarm after the 5.3 that struck about 6 o'clock in the morning. And we had an aftershock about uh, 10 minutes later at 6 uh, 20 of, of a three and of, of course followed by an earthquake swarm in the area of Kalawa. As we know the big island of Hawaii is made up of five volcanoes and um, we've also had of course Kilauea quake uh, about an hour after that and also the seamount of Loihi about uh, six hours after that. So we have quite a lot of activity going on there. Mauna Loa also had today, we're talking about today's quakes, just for today. Uh, a minute after the uh, big quake, we had a Mauna Loa, a minute after, not, not a minute, uh, about five minutes after that, we had a 2.3 in Mauna Loa after the Kaloa earthquake. So, um... We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this. this. This is obviously, after I posted yesterday's Hawaii volcano uh, latest. Uh, so we have the earthquake and where did it strike. This is on uh, Express UK by Kate Whitfield. And uh, the quake hit Hawaii's Big Island, as we said, registering at a magnitude 5.3. And as we know, you know, uh, USGS sometimes downgrade downgrades quakes. This one remained there. According to U.S. Geological Survey, it struck at 5 p.m. local time, 4 a.m. BST, with a depth of 8 miles, that's 14 kilometers. The major tremor was followed by a few smaller aftershocks, but has been quiet for most of today. So is there a tsunami warning in place? The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said no tsunami was generated by this quake. The evaluation said no tsunami is expected. Repeat, no tsunami is expected. However, some areas may have experienced strong shaking. Where did the quake strike? The earthquake struck in the Hualalai region of Big Island, about eight miles northwest of the town of Kalawa. The exact coordinates of the epicenter are 19.8 north and 156.1 west. What was the impact? Hawaii Electric Light tweeted that roughly 3,300 customers were without power in the Paniolo Drive and Waimea side of Waikoloa, but it was restored within hours after the quake. No serious injuries have been reported, but the earthquake did cause some serious rock falls. According to civil defense officials, the quake caused a large boulder to come down on Highway 19, Queen Kahumanu, at the Hapuna Junction. There was also a rockfall reported on Highway 11, near the 100 and 110 mile markers. None of Hawaii's volcanoes have been reported as affected, according to USGS. Well, we do have exactly a couple of minutes later, Kilauea, as we said, had its earthquake, and Loihi as well, the seamount on the south. Hawaii Island resident Grace Emanuel from Haloaloa was outside gardening when the rumbling began. She said, I heard it before. I felt it. Everything started shaking. I looked up and my entire house was shaking back and forth. I thought, wow, this is huge. Civil defense officials say there are no major road closures and only reports of minor damage in some area homes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
these riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.